Hello everybody and welcome back to the Lost Planeswalker. You are here with me, Jesse, the Lost Planeswalker. And today we're doing Helga Skittering Seer. This is another frog commander that I'm in love with. It's a very unique card that cares about having creatures with greater power. So let's dive right in and see how this commander works. Helga Skittering Seer 4, white, blue, ledger, creature, frog, druid, with whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value 4 or greater, you draw a card. Gain one life and put a plus one plus one counter on Helga Skittering Seer. You can tap this to add X mana of any one color, where X is Helga Skittering Seer's power. Spend this mana only to cast creature spells with mana value 4 or greater, or creature spells with x in their mana cost helga here is kind of just a whatever you want commander if i'm being honest gaining life drawing cards and putting plus one plus one counters are basically bant 101 so playing a deck that revolves around this just seems good but i really don't know what you build and when i built this deck i thought this was pretty good but usually i like to divide the deck up into distinct strategies but in this case i just picked some of the best cards i think you should include so we're gonna run through those and i hope you enjoy so the first couple cards we're gonna look at here i called cascade cascade discover we have apex devastator emota celebrant of bounty and monstrous vortex apex devastator eight green green creature chimera hydra with cascade 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 not only are we going to draw cards gain life and put counters up probably helga here we're also going to get four other things out of our deck which is insane one of those may be emoti celebrant of the bounty for three green and a blue ledger creature naga druid with cascade spells you cast with converted mana cost six or greater have cascade so this gives our other big spells cascade in addition which is very cool now we don't have that many spells with mana value six or greater but there are a few in this deck so we could get some additional value there and then monsters vortex a new card from modern horizons three three and a green enchantment whenever you cast a creature spell with power five or greater discover x where x is that spell's mana value what a great thing if you haven't played with discover yet it's basically like a fixed cascade where you can choose to cast something but you don't have to where that's where kind of cascade fails is you can hit things that you either can't cast or don't want to cast where monsters vortex can just put that card into your hand using discover so very fun so next up i want to look at five or greater we have thrax the thundering storm thunderous snapper and up the beanstalk and as you guessed they all care about mana value five or greater which is great for us thrax the sudden storm three blue blue ledger creature elemental giant with flash flying spells you cast with mana value five or greater cost one less to cast and can't be countered which is perfect for us now we are playing i think a few counter spells in this deck to deal with things that are coming from our opponents but we're going to be casting most of the big stuff here so not too much to worry about thunderous snapper is a hybrid green blue green blue green blue green blue creature turtle hydra with whenever you cast a spell with mana value five or greater draw a card another great way to gain some additional benefit that we're going to get from helga as well and then up the beanstalk probably one of the best cards that came out recently one in a green enchantment when it enters and whenever you cast a spell with mana value five or greater you get to draw a card so very cheap can give you a lot of stuff it's a very very fun card to play as well so it works perfectly in this deck next up let's talk about some counter nonsense because of course helga here wants to put counters on her we may want to put counters on some of our other creatures as well so we have innkeeper's talent railway brawler and sovereign okanek aho innkeeper's talent is one in a green at the beginning of combat on your turn put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature you control leveling up to two for a single green permanent you control with counters on them have ward one which i think is probably worth doing and then three in a green if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player put twice that many of each kind of those counters on that permanent and player instead this card has already crept up to over 20 dollars so this is a tremendous card to get because doubling up counters is very strong railway brawler three green green creature rhino warrior with reach and trample whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control put x plus one plus one counters on it where x is its power you can also plot this card for three and a green i love railway brawler i think this just goes in so many big stuff decks this one's also creeping up there almost ten dollars i see now so very cool card and then sovereigner okanek ahu two green white legendary creature cat noble with ward two whenever sovereigner attacks for each other creature you control with power greater than its base power put a number of plus one plus one counters on that creature equal to the difference this is such a cool commander i believe i built this one but it doesn't matter if that's a static effect making its power bigger or if it's actually counters it doesn't care it's just going to put those counters on it anyway so every turn they're 
they're just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, which I love to see. So next up, we have lots of mana, ways we can generate a ton of mana to help us cast some of these very very big cards but before we do so i would just like to say if you aren't subscribed to my channel please consider doing so it would mean the world to me so starting out we have chakram retriever fanatic of ronis and inga and eska so chakram retriever here four and a blue creature elemental hound which we can partner with this chakram slinger which we're not doing in this deck because all we care about is whenever you cast a spell during your turn untap target creature we can untap our commander that is going to have a bunch of counters on it tap it to cast another spell and continually hopefully draw into more and more stuff that we can just cast and do all kinds of fun things with so chakra retriever is a engine piece that's really going to make our deck start moving fanatic aromas might not be greater than four mana but for one in the green we get a creature snake druid that adds a green and ferocious add four green activate only if you control a creature with power four or greater and we can also eternalize this for four mana which will then automatically just make it be able to tap for four mana so a great thing we can get out early and then just benefit from very very quickly and then inga and eska two green and a blue legendary creature human god creatures you control have vigilance and tap to add one mana of any color spend this to only cast creature spells whenever you cast a creature spell if three or more mana from creatures was spent to cast it draw a card what a great card to add in this deck help us use our creatures to cast even more so next i want to talk about some land nonsense some ways we can just kind of abuse our lands or play additional lands and just get so many out there cards like Chulain, Teller of Tales, Kemetra, God of the Harvest, and Nyxbloom Ancient are some of those. Chulain, Teller of Tales, two green, white, and a blue, ledger creature, human druid with vigilance. Whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Three and tap, return target creature you control to its owner's hand. Maybe we want to cast something again and again. Chulain is there for us. Kemetra, God of the Harvest, three green and a white, legendary enchantment creature, God with indestructible. As long as your devotion to green or white is less than seven, this isn't a creature. But whenever you cast a creature spell, you may search your library for a forest or plains card, put it on the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. A very cool way we're going to be able to put a lot of lands into play. And then Nyx Bloom Ancient 4, green, 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 enchantment creature elemental with trample. If you would tap a permanent for mana, it produces three times as much mana of that mana instead. So if you tapped Fanatic of Ronis with Nyx Bloom Ancient out, you'd get 12 green mana. That's insane. All of your lands now tap for three or potentially more if you have other stuff on them. What a great card. It's going to accelerate us. We're going to have enough mana to just do whatever we want with. And the last three cards I'm going to talk about before going through the rest of the deck is cards I said, why not? You know, why not put these in here? Seems like fun. We have Hydroid Crisis, Null Drifter, and 20 Toad Toad. Hydroid Crisis is X green and a blue creature jellyfish hydra beast with when you cast a spell you may gain half x life and draw half x cards rounded down each time it is flying and trample and when it enters with x plus one plus one counters on it we're certainly going to be casting a ton of mana for this card to draw gain life and just make a big flying trampoly threat null drifter seven generic creature eldrazi elemental with when you cast a spell you may draw two cards it's got annihilator one but we can also evoke it out there if we just want to cast we could also also evoke it out there if we want to draw some cards and put this in the bin and then 20 toad toad three in a blue creature frog wizard with your max hand size is 20 whenever you attack with two or more creatures put a plus one plus one counter on 20 toad toad and draw a card and whenever 20 toad toad attacks you win the game if there are 20 or more counters on it or if you have 20 or more cards in your hand which seems quite doable in this deck whether we're buffing up helga with those cast triggers or 20 toad toad we got multiple ways we can win the game so now i'm going to read through the rest of the cards in this deck which is going to be very long so if you don't stick around thank you for watching i appreciate it but we have arcane signet beast whisper beast within benevolent hydra birds of paradise commander sphere counterspell cultivate defiler of vigor disciple of free elise farsi forgotten ancient foundation breaker garuk's uprising generous gift gold vein hydra gore claw terror of simsa guardian project hardening scales heroic intervention Hullbreaker horror colonian hydra Kami of Whispered Hopes, Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner, Lily Splash Mentor, Mirari's Wake, Mole Drifter, Mystic Snake, Nature's Lore, Noble Hierarch, Path to Exile, Repulsive Mutation, Rishkar's Expertise, Sarnith the Viper's Fang, Sovala Heart of the Wild, Shalai Voice of Plenty, Silverback Elder, Soul Ring, Solum Simulacrum, Sakura and Gore Claw, Swords of Plowshears, The Great Henge, Toski Bear of Secrets, Traverse the Outlands, and Zopandral Hunger 
Domus. Like always, the land base is up to you. Whether you got some money or own some of these lands in Bant's colors, go ahead and throw it in. If not, there's a lot of affordable ways to build a great land base. But with that, I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. Like I said, this deck really can do a little bit of everything. So I really wanted to show off some really fun cards I think would work well. And then of course, in the rest of the deck, you have a bunch of pieces that just help this deck work even better. But let me know down in the comments down below, is there a card I'm missing from this deck that's just perfect? Perfect, or is there something I should take out because it just doesn't work? I would love to hear about it. In addition, if you would please leave a like, share this video with a friend, and subscribe. That would mean the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So today's Scryfall card of the day is Bog Initiate. Urborg's magic is strong. Did Urza send you to protect us or to protect against us? Urborg Witch to Baron. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you later, Planeswalkers.